everyone on YouTube. Give me one here. Is anybody else here? Hope everyone's having a great day today. Yeah, um, I, before I even jump into this, I, I this is already cringy as all heck. Shout out to the one or two people who clicked on this video. Legit, really, really appreciate you guys. Welcome to Jimmy Plays. This is literally the first video I'm posting on here, and it was supposed to be gaming unrelated to MLB. And the first video I'm posting is MLB. But anyways, guys, I am actually moving the road to the show series over to Jimmy Plays. And, like, I, I seriously need to know, should I continue for where I'm at? I'm on the Royals with Jimmy. The, these are our numbers. And for some reason, like, we're, we're on the bench. I, I got an email uh, saying bench duty because Cortez is back and they put him in the lineup. But even he's on the bench too and it doesn't make any sense but let me know if you think we should start all over with a brand new player name some names if you got any if there's anyone even watching this um because yeah this is brand new channel and uh yeah this this gonna be interesting so anyways let me know down in the comment section below what you think we should do i'm willing to start over because on this for the most part i pretty much just i pretty much simulated as quickly as possible to the major league but i'm willing to just play all the way through until we do get called up hopefully it doesn't take too long if that is what you guys want to do uh, but anyway shout out to the no doubt crew even if you guys don't see this i'll probably give you the same guys a shout out in another video on jimmy world shout out to jj slam with you know day one shout out to 99 99 oscar camacho dope doe shout out to steven stafford uh shout out to mj lugo uh and yeah shout out to matt walsh and shout out to anthony platt appreciate you guys very much no doubt crew you guys have been killing it if you are part of the no doubt fruits you know subscribe to jimmy plays as well hit the like button uh and all that good stuff leave a comment down below i'd appreciate it but anyways just for this episode uh i am gonna play through uh, whatever is my next appearance and try to play at least a series there are numbers it doesn't make any sense why we're not starting um, but then I'll, I'll just go based off the few people who are watching what you guys want to do and we'll go from there if you guys want Jimmy World from MLB 17 to make an appearance now we'll do that Luke Weaver the homie from Deland High School oh, shout out to Luke Weaver Alex Reyes and Carlos Martinez those are, those are all homies dude all right so we are getting a start we're leading the Royals in home runs uh, even though we're not a starter, we are getting a start at first base. We're already down two nothing, and we're the cleanup hitter. That's a good little curveball. I was late on it. I gotta adjust. I haven't played road to the show much in a while. Gotta remember it's a little bit different than online play. There, it, the velocity looks like there's definitely more velocity. Even that curveball looked a little sharper than what I'm used to online. First one two count. I'm gonna give him a little bit of room. Right-handed hitter. No reason to play him in. Not, not sure why I got eaten up by that. Just need you to step on the bag. So that's all we're gonna matter. That was it was a little it wasn't clean at all. Not sure why we weren't able to field that. But we were able to make the play and avoid getting an error. No runs did score on the play, so that's good. I'm I'm excited to play some more road to the show. Uh like I said, I've always loved road to the show. There's our first home run of the episode, and no doubt in the left field. We got our fastball. We were looking for it down in the zone. We just absolutely turned on it to left field. So that's what we're looking to do. Yo, shout out to Movie Gaming, who is a Royals fan. I actually just popped up in the stream and let him know, yo, we need to get a game in soon. I, I, I completely forgot that I am a Kansas City Royal. Home run number 14 of the season for someone who's on the bench. Ladies and gentlemen, what are things that don't make any sense whatsoever? I love the new camera angles in this game. It actually looks like someone's following me around as I as I hit that hit that home run and come down uh, the third baseline. But an absolute no doubt. I think I need to change some of the animations to get some of those funny home run celebrations that all the guys got to capture uh, with San Diego Studios, all the all the YouTubers and Twitch streamers, because those are pretty dope. So I'm gonna have to check those out. Tie game at least. We got the game tied in the sixth inning. Actually, I'm not even sure who is pitching. Let's see if we can turn on another one. Get a little fastball up and away. Like I said, that's actual velocity. It's a little bit more velocity than what I'm expecting. Still hit it 103. Brebbia is up. Let's look for a pitch up. Let's look for a pitch up that we can drive into a gap. Good slider. That just missed. Good slider. Good little front door slider. With two strikes, we can't be taking that. Definitely got to uh, open up with two strikes. But still in a 1-1 count. We're still, we, could be, we, could, we, could, we could afford... To be a little bit picky, that one's ripped to left field, but right at the left field, a good little poke, but not good enough, so what is that, that makes us one for three on the day with a home run, one RBI, almost an error, but not really, who's this, okay, Shelby Fielder, not 100% sure who this is, we got a double play situation, if this ball's hit to us, we, you already know we're hitting that X button, nope, not at us, just gotta cover first, six, 
Uh, Danny is there. Three double play unassisted. Well, not unassisted, but um, he didn't have to flip to the second baseman. As Sean Doolittle comes in. Am I going to get in that bat versus Sean Doolittle? Looks like I am. 14 home runs, 34 RBIs. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are, I mean, I know I'm a little bit late on it. I just got God of War today, uh, but I'm going to be playing that as soon as I'm done with this video. Ah, I got to stay back just a little bit. You know, that one look, it didn't look like the 98 mile an hour fastball we were seeing early in the game, but uh, I am going to be playing God of War. So for those of you who are actually on Jimmy Plays, um, stick around. Ah, oh, that went backwards. I thought that was straight up in the infield and I was like, why is no one reacting? But anyways, I will be doing a playthrough of God of War on this channel. Uh, so if you're new, go ahead and subscribe if you're into that. God of War looks so sick. Uh, I know I am a little bit late, but you know what? The hype on that early in, early in the year, you got all the big channels. It really, really isn't going to make a difference. The only people who will see that are, is if anyone knows who I am, hopefully anyone who sees it on my Twitter. We're going to end up one for four in our first game here on uh, Jimmy Play. So let's jump into the next game. Play Discipline down. I need to get that up. Eh, I don't think I really care about that. Simulating remainder of games. Am I going to get another start? I'm interested in finding out. I just don't understand how in a game you can have a guy batting 300 and something and a manager can tell you, hey, we, we, just, don't, we just don't have a spot for you batting 350 with uh, double digit home runs so early in the years and leading the team in RBIs as a guy off the bench. Little things that I still think need tweaking in this game. Like, if it was all right, uh-oh, we'll wear that. I think that might have been intentional. Check it out. Who's pitching? It's Carlos Martinez. Guys, if you know me, and you and you know that I, I say this a lot, my last at-bat ever in real life, me, J Javon, was against Carlos Martinez, in which I hit a little squeaker in between short and third for a base hit. Pretty much an infield base hit, and that's the, that was the last at-bat I ever took uh, in my baseball career out in Dominican Republic. But now we're on first base. That's ripped. And we're going to stay there at second base. As that ball was hit pretty hard. We definitely were hosed at third base. With nobody out, you probably got to freeze a little bit more than that. But I got a good read on that. Definitely could tell that was going to be in a, uh over the second baseman. Yeah, I'm tempted to steal third base. But we're, we're definitely slow as molasses. Uh, different attribute system than last year. Can't use stubs to upgrade. And it's an infield hit. Everyone is safe. So trouble for Carlos Martinez, a.k.a. Tsunami, formerly known as Bimpa. Yeah, that was a nickname he had back when uh, back when I met him back in the day. He used to go by Bimpa. And then uh, slowly when he became a major leaguer, he became Tsunami and no longer used that other nickname. Uh-oh. Little squeaker. And it's going to be an RBI. That's going to be an RBI. No double play. So he does get credit for the RBI. I think that might have been Dijon, if I'm not mistaken. And there's the first run of the game. So we're going to go ahead and take the lead. We're going to definitely check out the uh, standings and statistics and see where we're actually at. Because, like I said, I hadn't played Road to the Show in a while. Because when I posted Road to the Show on Jimmy Road, it's not that I really cared about the views. It just did really weird things to my YouTube. If you guys know, knew a little bit about YouTube, it, it does. It did weird things on my YouTube channel. So I had to get away from it. And it happened the same thing in MLB 16 and MLB 17. Every time I posted Road to the Show, it just did weird things to my DD videos and BR videos. So... I love Road to the Show. I love playing Road to the Show. Uh, it's definitely, you know, it's it's what made this series what it is. Especially when uh, baseball had died for like a year on video games. Uh-oh, you're hosed. Well, no runner on for me. Great block behind the plate. That's not Yachty. But a great block behind the plate nonetheless. 42 pitches. Oh, it's the third inning. It's only the third inning. I was like, what inning are we in? That the pitcher's at 42 pitches. It has to be the starter. But I was looking at 6, and I thought that was the anywhere in. But it's 6-3. to three. We're down 6-3. That one's ripped. Uh-oh, that's definitely over his head. We're going with this camera. Uh, with my speed, I, I can't see my speed. But I don't think we have too much velocity. But that is a double to right field. Would have been an RBI, possibly. But uh, not a good read behind the plate. As a hitter, you got you to throw the hand up. Let him know, hey, don't go. It was a good block behind the plate, but... He thought he got a good read and he took off. Now we need Salvi to drive us uh, with two outs. Just need a base hit anywhere and hopefully we can score. Just need a good secondary lead. That's ripped down the line and gets past the first baseman. We're being waved home and he's going to hit the cutoff. And that is going to be run number four. Be our aggressiveness up. And we cut into that lead a little bit. Salvi celebrating. Throwing up, throwing up the hands. I see you, Salvi. 
But like I said, guys, I'm excited to play Road to the Show and just play normal. Uh, no, hopefully no crazy titles or anything. Just, just a Road to the Show series. Oh, dear God. Maybe I should not be swinging at pitches like that. Uh, with the potential tying run at the plate, we're looking to get our hands extended. Those are good pitches. A great circle change. Down in the zone, of course, Carlos Martinez is a fireballer, so when he throws that change up, you end up out in front because you're usually waiting on that fastball. And he broke out a slider, and that got me, struck me out. Good pitch from Carlos Martinez to strand a runner. All right, another opportunity. Shelby's back up. Again, lefty up. I'm going to give him a little bit of room. Ground ball to first base. I don't know. I don't... I don't know why it freezes. It doesn't make any. It doesn't make any sense why it does that. And then when I, I took one step to my left, and I, I don't know. I don't know. I need to. I need to learn the mechanics of this game a little bit better, especially on fielding. It just slow motions on a ball hit right at me. I thought that was like a, um, Showtime type of thing. Uh oh, get down, get down, get down, and right at him. We hit. Still hit. Still a lot of line drives hit at people, even in road to the show. Carlos Martinez is going to walk away with a W. He's got a nice little haircut style. I like it. I like it. I can dig it. But we're going to end up with another loss in game two. All right. So I know this episode was rather short, especially since I'm coming off the bench. But let's take a look. Uh, we're at 23 and 37. Literally dead last. 13 games behind on a four-game losing streak. And that kind of happens when you have your best player on the bench. There, there isn't really much you can do about that. Let's see if we can look at some of the league leaders. Uh, I don't even qualify for batting average. Because I don't have the minimum 3.1 plate appearance per, per games played. Uh, but we can look at some other stuff. See if we have anyone in the Royals in top 20. Uh, nothing in there. Hits. Top 20. There is zero Royals. At bats, definitely not up there. Doubles. Zero Royals in the top 20. Triples. Zero Royals in the top 20. Home runs. There we go. Look at that. And tied for 7th in home runs. Jimmy World with 14. We're batting 325. Uh, so if we had the minimum plate appearances, we'd be close to the top five. Uh, 325, yeah, we'd be we'd be fourth in batting average. Uh, home runs, triples, RBIs. Uh, I don't have that many. I thought I was closer to 40. Uh, I guess I am not. Definitely not as high as I thought. Okay, there I am. Tied for 31st with 34. So not that far off, actually. Uh, a few more games, and, you know, hopefully we would be there. But definitely not. Runs, not a thing. Stolen bases, definitely not. Face on balls, I'm not patient. Uh, on base percentage, may, uh, don't qualify. Slugging, don't qualify. Uh, OPS, don't. And let's see, maybe your uh, ER, uh, batting war? Batting war, and we are, oh, there we are, 28th with a 1.9 batting war for a guy coming off the bench. Insanity, Francisco Mejia killing the league, 382 batting average, 7 home runs, uh, 31 RBIs. Actually, what are his stats? From Dominican Republic, of course, 73-65. Uh, good little stats, and he is 5'10", uh, 180. How old is he? 25 years old. He's got a little bit of age on us, too, but he's an 87 overall with a potential catcher. So that's actually very solid. I'm gonna, gonna keep my eye on this guy. Uh, I'm going to be doing a franchise soon. Don't know if I'm doing it on this channel or not. But anyways, that's what things are looking like. Hopefully, uh, I don't know how far we are from the All-Star game. But I mean, at this rate, we, we're not gonna be playing in it anyways. We definitely don't, we don't play enough. And I don't, I, I, I can check to see All-Star voting. Uh, I, I, I think I'm a left fielder. I am a left fielder. I am fifth in all-star voting for left fielder coming off the bench. Uh, only to Brady Bryant, who's batting 285, 400,000 votes. I'm not that far off. If I get a couple more starts, I'll definitely be in the all-star game. But uh, the way it's going, it doesn't look like we're going to be playing much. But anyways, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this first video on Jimmy Plays. I'm going to go ahead and play God of War now. So I'm about to get sunken into that. If you guys enjoyed, please do me the favor for the two of you watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. 1985, I arrived. 33 years, damn, I'm grateful I survived. We wasn't supposed to get past 25. Jokes on you, motherfucker, we alive. All these niggas popping now is young. Everybody say the music that they make is dumb I remember I was 18